Well, we've reviewed a lot of different products on this channel, but the one thing that we've neglected, oddly enough, is magic wands. So today we're going to fix that. We're going to take a look at the design collection for Harry Potter. Hey there, everyone. My name's Perry. And my name's Susan. And welcome to The Potter Addict. <laughs> well, guys, today we are here to take a look at the design collection of wands. And if you haven't seen these wands, they have these aren't brand new. They've been around for a while. I just have never done a review on them, and it is definitely um, overdue for me to do, to do just that. Um, there are, I think, a grand total of 18 currently right now. I have all 18, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to split it up into two videos so that I can keep you guys uh, entertained enough, and we're going to just do nine today. So we've gotten our first nine here. Searson is going to pick the first one. Go right ahead, sir. Which, which one do you want to start with? You can see the names on the end on the ends of the boxes if you want to read and, no, and pick one up. Oh no, you're so random. Surprised. But you want to be surprised. Okay, I like that. I like that. So we'll open this one up. So this one, okay. Now these boxes, by the way, are absolutely beautiful. Just a simple black box with the you know the Harry Potter Wizarding World on here, um, and then they give you like this color accent in here as well. Um, most of the time, it's uh, it's not a hundred percent. Um, kind of like, um, I, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not really, it doesn't really represent what's in the box except for when you talk about the house related stuff. Then they kind of color code them for for the actual house. So so let's open this so up. This is a Hufflepuff one? Sure, yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. So the first, sword, the first one that you picked up Gryffindor. is for the Sword of Gryffindor. And they come with these little cards that kind of give you a little detail about how they the design was inspired. So this says... Inspired by the goblin made Sword of Godric Gryffindor, the Sword of Gryffindor wand is inset with ruby like jewels and ornate metalwork evocative of the revered relic. A perfect symbol of courage and determination, this design is for those bravest at heart. So, and this wand, this wand is absolutely gorgeous. We'll set that over here and open this up. The, yeah, I know. How beautiful is that, right? So, I mean, if you look at this wand up close, it is absolutely stunning. I mean, they have got such detailed, intricate-looking designs in the metalwork. I mean, they gave it a like a like a bronze finish um, with the little jewels and the in the handle and in the hilt itself and the very end, uh, end of it, the big giant uh, ruby. Um, I think this is an absolutely gorgeous wand, and then they put the little griffin uh, right down here at the bottom to symbolize the House of Gryffindor. I mean, this is an absolutely yes. stunning wand. Uh, what? Here's a griffin. A gr yeah. I thought Hufflepuff would want... Um, oh, no, no, this is for the Sword of Gryffindor, so they wouldn't put any other house on here. It would just be for, for actual Gryffindor. So, But beautiful wand. I love the way they've got this one kind of detailed and, and designed. Very, very pretty. And guys, like I said to you before, these design collection wands are, are stunning. There is not a, a bad one out there in the bunch. So what you're gonna see today, they're all they're all winners in my opinion. So Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff it is. That's our next one, right? So this is the cup of Hufflepuff is what this is. So and and so then this one, we've got the card. Card looks a little bit like this, and it says on here the cup of Hufflepuff. Inspired by the small golden cup with a mysterious past, the cup of Hufflepuff wand details the unique Baroque metalwork we see on the fabled house relic. A suitable treasure for any Hufflepuff, this design is for those who remain true to themselves and to others, even in difficult times. So, fantastic. And let's pop this one open. Yeah, look at that, right? Such another, I mean, another pretty wand, guys. They gave it more of a more of a gold finish on this one, like the last one. It's a little bit on the bronze side, but more gold. Just one Hufflepuff. Yeah, yeah, just just the Huffle, just the one uh, honey badger 
on here to just like the Hufflepuff cup. There's just one badger on there, but um, and then you've got like this this you know detailed kind of uh, stippled uh, uh, kind of scales down here at the bottom. Um, I mean, it's gorgeous wand again, and then on the top you've got a little bit of. A uh, little bit of uh, design up there as well. Very, very pretty wand. And all of these wands have a good weight to them. They're none, of, none of them are, are very cheap feeling. Um, they all are very sturdy. And, uh, and I mean, they, they feel like they're made out of, out of wood and metal. I mean, so very, very beautiful wands. Um, and I will tell you that none of the ones that we're looking at today are my what I classify as my favorites. There are some amazing ones in here, I mean, that we're gonna see today, but none of these are actually my favorite. I'm gonna keep these open now that I'm thinking about it because I want you to pick your favorite at the end. And I know Wait. you might forget. Wait, put that in a little. Oh, is it, is it pop? Oh, okay. I don't wanna pop that, keep that popped out for you. Here, and we'll do like this. There we go. That way you can see them all, and we'll pop the. And that way you can choose at the end which one you I'm like the best. But like I was saying, none of the ones we're going to look at today are my top of the top as far as this collection goes. They're all fantastic wands. There is no slouch in the group, with the exception of one. Uh, I take that back. Hedwig. We will see the Hedwig in the next video, and Hedwig is is off. I don't. I'm not a huge fan. I got that one because I wanted to keep the collection complete but I am not a fan of that wand at all. It's um, it's a Japanese-inspired kind of uh, anime-ish looking, um, looking headwig, and not my favorite, but um, the other nine that we're going to see uh, in the next video are spectacular. There are some amazing ones in there that I think take this collection to the next level. So what do you got for me? Oh, you're trying to be tricky, huh? Slide that one out. So this one says the Diadem of Ravenclaw. So we, you're picking out all the all the uh, the house uh, relics here. So, oh, uh, I'm getting I, ahead I of myself. I, I didn't even know. Getting ahead of myself. So, okay, the Diadem of Ravenclaw. Inspired by the powerful and famed Diadem of Ravenclaw, this ornate wand features many decorative details of the lost diadem, from its pristine blue stones to its ornate metalwork. Etched with the Ravenclaw house ethos in mind, this wand is designed for all those who value wit beyond measure. So, fantastic, and you're going to pull it out. It's a nice one, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, it's got some good weight to it. They're all very high quality wands. Is uh, this on the crown? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. The the, the, the Ravenclaw yeah. diadem. So, but taking a closer look at this one, I mean, I absolutely love how they have the raven um, kind of and the, at the very top with its wings kind of wrapping around to start the the metalwork that twists around the actual wand itself. I love the blue stones that they've got in here. I, I love just the detail work, guys. And the texture that they give these is absolutely spectacular because, I mean, you get that tactile um, feeling when you're putting your hand on it. It's And then the jewels themselves have, you know, all the, the ridges that a, that a cut gem would, would have. Spectacular wands, guys. Again, these are a phenomenal addition. If you like wands, and this is my, this is just my opinion. When I first saw this line, I thought to myself, why would you need a wand that doesn't represent somebody from the movies, right? These aren't actual movie wands, right? Um, because, you know, you, you get like Harry's wand or, or Dumbledore's wand, you know, you, you get something that's more from the movie. But then I, I kept looking at these and I kept seeing them and I kept thinking to myself, God, these are beautiful wands. I mean, they're absolutely stunning wands. And so I ordered a few. And then when I got those few and saw them, done, done. Light, lights out. I knew I was going to have the rest uh, just because the collection itself is, is absolutely spectacular. So let's pop this one over here to the side. Because I know that not everybody is into wands. And I'm it, wands are not a huge part of my collection. I definitely have some good wands and I definitely want some more in my collection, um, but they're not a huge part of my collection. But if you love wands, you must add these to your collection. It's, you, you will not regret it. Yeah. Um, 
Do you know how like like this the crown? Of... Uh huh. Yeah. What what you know, what is the Slytherin? Slytherin is the Slytherin. It's the Slytherin locket, is what it is. Okay. What if I get the locket? What if I this is the locket? You think that's the locket? Wait, 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 I'm, I'm not. You're gonna open it. Slytherin mascot. You were off on this one. This is the Slytherin mascot. So let me have this one real, real quick. I'll slide this over here. It's okay. It's all right. We get, we're going to get through them all. So, so the Slytherin mascot, it says, inspired by the cunning and intelligent mascot of Slytherin House, the Slytherin mascot wand celebrates the serpent, the beast in which Salazar Slytherin was able to converse. For those with great ambition, this design is for leaders who seek to stamp their own mark upon the world. So, love it. And this is, I, of the house mascot wands, I think this one is my favorite. I just like the look of this one. I think it is absolutely spectacular. I love how they coil this snake around the wand. And I love the texture that they give him for like his scales. Uh, I love that his mouth is open, like ready to bite. Hey, Daddy. Yeah. Your face is moving in here. <laughs> that, that, thankfully, that, that mouth is too small. I get a finger in there, but he won't get my face. So, but I love the black dead eye that they that they give them. I mean, it, it, it's this is, again, guys, a spectacular addition. Very, very neat looking. Uh, I absolutely love it. And I will tell you right now, I am working on that mascot, or that mascot, that crest for my wall. And doing the scale effect on a snake is not easy. I mean, to make it look good. And they did a great job on this. It really does look fantastic. Yeah. But, um, what if, what if you, you had the Gryffindor uh -huh. wand and did this to that one and that snake came alive? Oh, goodness sakes. No, thank you. I, no, don't, but, I, don't, I don't need a live snake. But you get a snake for free. <laughs> yeah, well, oh, I'm okay with not having a snake at all if that's if that's all right with you. I got no problem with snakes. I just don't want one. So next up is next up? Slytherin. Slytherin? Nope, you're wrong. Uh, no, yeah, he's a trick. Oh, you just tricked me, huh? You're tricking me I again. I did trick you. Uh, you thought you tricked me. I saw the blue, so I knew. So this one is the Ravenclaw mascot. So this one says. Inspired by the house of Rowena Ravenclaw, the Ravenclaw mascot wand evokes highly on the animal's likeness, with its wings forming the top of the handle, symbolic of one of the most intelligent animals in existence. This wand is designed for those with a love of learning. So, now I will tell you that I'm not a Ravenclaw. I mean, everybody knows I'm a, I'm a, a, a Gryffindor. But this is a, yeah. a really touchy topic for Ravenclaws, and that is the Ravenclaw mascot is supposed to be an eagle, right? Even though it's called Ravenclaw and, and everything else, the mascot's supposed to be an eagle, but this is clearly a raven. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful wand. It really is. Look at look at the head coming out of the end it there. It looks like it's going so fast yeah. that its tail right. Absolutely, yeah, it does. It looks like it's zipping through the air as its feathers wrap around the wand and kind of just fade into the wand itself. I mean, it's a gorgeous wand, absolutely beautiful. I love it. I think it does a great representation of everybody's kind of take on the Ravenclaw mascot, even though it is supposed to be an eagle. So I apologize to all you uh, Ravenclaws out there, but at the same time, it is still a beautiful wand. It really is. So, and my Ravenclaw mascot for my crest definitely looks more like an eagle. So, so that should make everybody happy when I get to that point on that one. But another, another great addition. Very, very nice looking. Uh, even though it is more raven raven than than uh, than eagle, we're gonna running out of room here slowly but surely. Let's see if I can slide these. Yeah, I can slide them a little bit more. What what do you got next for me, Bob? Jenga style. Jenga style. Okay, and this one is the actual Hufflepuff mascot. All right, so this one says the Hufflepuff mascot. Inspired by the humble and industrious badger, this unique house wand celebrates the iconic, often underestimated animal. Embodying a Hufflepuff's values, this delicately designed wand is for those who treasure hard work and loyalty. So, fantastic. Is the Hufflepuff a possum? No, no, it's a badger. Oh. Badger, you know that. We oh. talked about that oh. before, the honey badger, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's flip this box hey, hey, around. 
Yeah. I'm going to do it so fast. Hold on one second. Oh. Let's talk about, let's take a quick look up close oh. at the, the Hufflepuff just wand. Like the bird. Yeah, yeah. So the, the head of the the head of the Hufflepuff mascot pops out of the end, and then you've got his fur kind of wrapping around the wand, just kind of forms into the bark itself. Um, I love how they've kind of peeled back the bark here in the top to give him like his his you know his extra different details in his face, the coloring. Uh, oh. I I really like this one. I mean the cute little nose that they give him there on the end Wait, in his can mouth. I do something? Absolutely cute. If, very very not, nice one. Can I wand. do something with this one? Uh huh. Somebody will turn me into a Hufflepuff. Always trying to give me shade on my house. Yeah, him and his mother. I swear they're two peas two peas in a pod. Always trying to come down on me, giving me. Putting me in Hufflepuff, putting me in Slytherin. I, I don't know why, but this is one of those things that they love to do. Go ahead. We, what do we got next? I, we're doing this one. Okay. Oh, what the heck second. was happening? I fell a tick. Get off. I'm just going to pick that one. All right. We're going this one right here. Okay. And we have got the Gryffindor mascot. My house. Um, are you sure about that? I am 100% positive. Thank you very much, sir. You're the, not like a Hufflepuff. <laughs> the Gryffindor mascot. Inspired by the bold and mighty animal of Gryffindor House, the Gryffindor mascot wand celebrates leonine courage and daring in the face of conflict. Perfect for all proud Gryffindors, this design is for those who valiantly roar into the unknown. Perfect for this wand and perfect for me. Thank you very much. Let's mm. take this one out. And There's take a, a look. Hufflepuff. I, just, I, I don't just, know why you. I just, re, um, I just did this with the wand and you just turned into a Hufflepuff. I know that there's oh, nothing wrong with a. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with a Hufflepuff, but that's not my house. So, all right, so let's take a look at this one. This oh. one, again, is absolutely stunning. Up it's close, you've got the the, uh, the the head of a lion just sprouting out the end, and it's in the lion's mane just sprouting spinning around the actual wand, forming into the, the wand itself. I love the the look on his face, that just like that he's going to come right at you, like he's jumping right in, like they hey, said. He, he, he's, he's like um, a raven, but he's going so fast on land. Yeah, yeah like, right, yeah, he's running so fast. You're absolutely right. I love that. I love the, the teeth. Uh, the detail in his mouth. I mean, I, they did such an excellent job on this one. Uh -huh. There's something in his mouth. Oh, there's, I think there's like a little hair in there. But um, but stunning. Very, very stunning. Love, love that. They did a great job of displaying the Gryffindor house. So we've got all the mascots now spoken for. No. Um, yeah, yeah. We've got Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor. All the mascots are done. So, what do you got? What's left here? Wait, there's two, though. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. What, what do we got? We're going to do this this one next, okay? This one is a good one. I really like this one. Not that any of these haven't been good, but this one is for the Locket of Slytherin. So, it says, Inspired by the mysterious family heirloom of Salazar Slytherin, the Locket of Salazar Slytherin wand prominently features the artifact the artifact's ancient symbols set against an amber handle. Symbolic of the power of the ancient pure blood family, this wand is designed for those who will stop at nothing to achieve their goals. All right, so now let's take a look at the wand itself, which is gorgeous. So just like the locket itself, you've got that amber stone, like this amber um, crystal coming out of the top. You've got runes that are carved around the actual crystal. And then you've got this, this snake coiling up from around the bottom, um, around it. That's actually two snakes coming up around the, the actual crystal itself, uh, coming out of like a green little... Uh, little um, uh, I guess this would you'd call this like a little uh, band on here. I mean, gorgeous. Oddly, the lightest of of all of the wands. This one, yeah, absolutely. This one is is definitely lighter than all of the rest. Um, hey, Daddy, guess yeah, what? What? You're gonna be become a snake. Snake. You've got powers. You you know the charms. Yeah, you're a snake, but you're on Hufflepuff's side. 
Okay. But guys, gorgeous wand. I mean, absolutely beautiful. They, they have really done such a spectacular job with this design collection. And that takes us down to our very last one. You want to pop it open? I will. I'll read the card. You, he saved the best for last, in my opinion, because magical creatures, um, I, I like magical creatures, but my top of the top, as far as magical creatures goes, is Fox the Phoenix, and that's what we have here. We've got the Phoenix Wand. So this says, inspired by the majestic, legendary Scarlet Bird, the Phoenix Wand's form celebrates the faithful companion of one of the greatest Gryffindors in history, Albus Dumbledore. Embracing the mystical colors and form of the phoenix, this wand is designed for those who value loyalty and courage. So, absolutely wonderful. Oh, this one's so and, cool. Yeah. And they did a spectacular job of giving you a, a phoenix on this. One of the things that I'm most surprised of is that they actually didn't make the... Um, so, you've got the phoenix at the top, you know, kind of like... like basically sitting up there majestic, kind of just staring out from his perch. But I thought that they would give you more of like a flame curling around the, the actual wand going down to, to form the wand than this. This is more just like his feathers and, and everything wrapping around there. And it's still stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Such a, a fantastic representation of the phoenix. Um, I think that is phenomenal. And what do you got? Wait, I, I, I want to show a trick. Okay. You are now a Hufflepuff. Boy, we got to get this kid some new material. He's, he's struggling today with, with some good, good quality jokes. But, so that takes us down to the end. The last wand. Mm -hmm. And... What's the last one? What's that? Wait, 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 wait. There's only eight because four is No, four. that's nine. That's nine wands. What? One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Boy, wait, we're going to have to put I, you... I thought yeah. math was your was your specialty. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was, oh, because of the phoenix That's wand. right. That's right. That, so, uh, of the wands that we had today, all right, you guys got to take a look at all of them, um, but you've got to tell me which one is your favorite. One. The phoenix is your favorite? Is your favorite wand no, for today? I bet I know which one's your favorite, this one, because you're a hospital. I'm going to say that of the wands that we looked at today, man, I, I think I think the Phoenix is my choice as well. I mean, I honestly think that this guy is amazing looking. They did such a fantastic job on him. Um, they are, there's no bad wands in this group, guys. They're, I mean, they're, it's a stunning collection of wands. Um, the next round just gets even better from here. I mean, these are, there, there's no slouches here, but the next round that I'm going to share, share with you guys is definitely um, a step above these. So, actually, fantastic collection. Yes? Actually, huh? it's not this one. Oh, okay. Who's your favorite? This one. You like the Gryffindor one the, yeah. the best? Yeah, the Gryffindor, I mean, it's a, it's a great one. I mean, absolutely good, but I, I, I still, the Phoenix one for me is, if, is if the winner of this fire, group. If there was fire around it, would make it. Yeah, the and fire I underneath it would definitely be better. But guys, that is all we've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this because, like, again, like I told you, we have neglected wands for far too long. I I've got another nine uh, wands for this collection, and then I've also got the um, collector's edition wands from Universal that I'd like to share with you guys. And then I've got a kind of a, a random um, collection of other wands um, that are all character wands. Um, most of which I think I've only got two that are non-interactive because I used to collect the um, only the interactive ones from from the parks. But now I've changed that collection uh, kind of my my philosophy, and uh, the character wands will only be non-interactive. I will buy those from uh, like the Noble Collection um, or the um, Wizarding World Online uh, because they look fantastic, and I think the I, the interactive element just takes a little bit away from the authenticity of the wand but again if you're going for the collector's edition then you can only get them as interactive so but that is all i've got for you guys today so if you've made it here and you haven't yet please guys do not forget to click that subscribe button click that bell notification give us both a great big thumbs up and don't forget to check us out on instagram
and TikTok too. Guys, it has been absolutely magical. Do you have anything else that you'd like to add before we call it a day? Yeah, you're a Hufflepuff. And on that note, until next time, thank you guys for joining us again for another episode. But all, all you, you wizards, wizards and muggles alike, keep it magical. magical.